welcome again to our channel it's always our pleasure having you in today's video we are going to clear certain doubts regarding the correct way to turn in work in Google Classroom my Google Classroom you are my student you are going to join my classroom using a code that I provided. Access the assigned task, complete the assigned task, and turn in the completed worksheet correctly. Are you ready? Then let's dive right in. So this is what you do. Go to Google Classroom. You have to see you are in Google Classroom. Now you want to join a class using a class code. Click this button. Create or join a class. Click the button. Join a class. Not create. You are not creating. You are joining a class, an existing class. So click join a class. Now enter a code. Your teacher will provide you this classroom code or a link through email for you to join the class. This is a class that you have joined. So you click on classwork. This is classwork. Click on classwork. This is the work that is available. This work is due. This is the work that is due tomorrow. This is a past work. Click on the work. It says view assignment. View assignment. You click on view assignment. Now you are in the assignment page. Read the instructions provided by your teacher. That's where you do everything. The work is here. Click, type on it directly and turn it in right here. Follow these instructions very well. That's the most important part of the work. These instructions. All right. Those are the instructions from your teacher. Read the instructions very well. Additional resources from your teacher will be around this area. If your teacher want you to access any additional material, you will see them here. Click your worksheet, which is here. Type directly in the worksheet highlight your responses this isn't a mandate it is not a requirement however it is at your discretion to color code your responses and make life easier for both your teacher and yourself as it stands out from the rest of the text easy to locate no need to dig on the top right hand corner is a share button this button allows you to share your work with whoever you chose to it is at the discretion of your teacher to receive work by email or to have you turn in your work in Google Classroom. As for me, I would rather have my students turn in their work in Google Classroom. Centralization makes organization easier. It is important to note that after turning in your work, if you have a change of mind, you can unsubmit, make the necessary adjustments and resubmit no problem inside the google classroom the title of the class will be on the top left hand corner centralized on top of the page is the menu and the middle piece will be your class work all previous and current assignments posted by your teacher will be in this section and their due date will be clearly visible this is the due date of the second assignment on this list click on the assignment that is due to unveil its details each assignment will be accompanied with detailed instructions from your teacher read the instruction diligently and make sure you fully understand it to avoid double work the icon in the bottom left corner permits you to view the details of the assignment click on that icon the assignment is now in full display 
the topic is over here and up here is the due date here you can see how many points this assignment is worth and the instructions are in full display as well this is the chat box you can leave messages questions concerns and worries here for your teacher any messages you leave here are saved automatically you do not have to do anything additional about it after you are done typing your message or comment to your teacher do not forget to click the send button to open your worksheet locate it on the top right hand corner and click on it your worksheet is now in full display it is a google docs it is at your discretion to leave the name as is or change it at this location you can edit this worksheet and type your responses to any embedded questions directly again as i earlier said it is at your discretion to color code your responses by highlighting them and selecting an appropriate font color doing that will make it easier for your teacher to locate your answers thus offsetting possibilities of you losing credit over work that was buried note that in a crowded worksheet like this one any edits that you make might not be noticeable so make sure you color code your responses so that they can stand out from the rest of the text more or less flagging them and making them conspicuous good thing about google docs you do not have to worry about saving your work just type it and then you are done the work is saved automatically remember some teachers may be comfortable receiving your work through email via this share button as for me i chose to have all my work centralized here in google classroom for organization purpose so after completing your worksheet return to the home page and click on the turn in button do not forget that you have the flexibility to return here whenever you want unsubmit your work by clicking the unsubmit button making necessary adjustments and resubmitting your work again by clicking the resubmit button this is the icon this purple one it is the icon that you will click to turn in your work this is your worksheet you will click on that worksheet type in your responses then click this purple turn in icon to turn in your work that brings us to the end of this tutorial if you have any questions or doubts do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below if you like the video do not forget to click the subscribe button before you leave so that you can be updated whenever we upload additional amazing contents and watch out for more tutorials in subsequent videos thanks for watching and see you very soon